Hello and very warm welcome to all of you, my listeners. As you know, in our today's podcast, we are going to learn English with the book summary. So let's begin. And in between in the summary, if there are difficult words coming in, I'll try to keep on explaining them. And so please stay tuned and listen to the summary and learn English. And if you like this podcast, please do give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and Don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe my YouTube channel. So let's begin. The big secret of dealing with the people. There is only one way under high heaven to get nobody, to get anybody to do anything. There is only one way under high heaven to get anybody to do anything. High heaven means the place where God lives or or a very high place. Did you ever stop to think of that? Yes, just one way. And that is by making the other person want to do it. Remember, there is no other way. Of course, you can make someone want to give you his watch by sticking a revolver in his ribs. You can make your employees give you a corporation until your back is turned by threatening to fire them. You can make a child do what you want it to do by a whip or threat. Whip means a long thin piece of leather. But these crude methods have sharply undesirable repercussions. Repercussions means bad consequences. Of course, you can make some Of course you can make someone want to give you his watch. as i as i mentioned in this uh, in this podcast the only way i can get you to do anything is by giving you what you want what do you want sigmund freud said that everything you and i do springs from two motives the sex urge and the desire to be great John Donne, one of America's most profound philosophers, phrased it a bit differently. Doctor Davis said that the deepest urge in human nature is the desire to be important. Remember that phrase, the desire to be important. It is significant. You are going to hear a lot about it in this book summary in this podcast. What do you want? Not many things, but the few things. that you do wish you crave with an insistence that will not be denied some of the things most people want include health and preservation of life preservation is the act of maintaining a thing second is food then sleep money and the things money will buy life in the th- in life in the hereafter sexual gratification gratification is the state of being satisfied the well being of our children a feeling of importance these are few things all of us desire in our life almost all these wants are usually gratified all except one but there is one longing almost as deep almost as imperious as the desire for food or sleep imperious means having a dominating attitude almost as imperious having a dominating attitude which is seldom gratified it is what few calls the desire to be great it is what dewey calls the desire to be important lincoln once began a letter saying everybody likes a compliment william james said the deepest principle in human nature is craving to be appreciated he didn't speak mind you of the wish or the desire or the longing 
to be appreciated he said the craving to be appreciated here is here is a gnawing an unfaltering human hunger gnawing g n a w i n g gnawing means the bite or chew on something unfaltering means being determined human human hunger and the rare individual who honestly satisfies he satisfies this hurt hunger will hold people in the palm of his or her hand and even the un, even the undertaker will be sorry when he dies the desire for a feeling of importance is one of the chief distinguishing differences between mankind and the animals to illustrate when i was a farm boy out in masuri my father bred fine hog hogs and pedigree white faced cattle pedigree matlab having a list of family line pedigrees having a list of family and hogs means speaks this is what author is explaining or is saying for himself so the desire makes you want to wear the latest styles drive the latest cars talk about your brilliant children it is this desire that lures many boys and girls into joining gangs and engaging in criminal activities the average young criminal according to ep murleni one time police commissioner of new york is filled with ego and his first request after arrest is for those lurid newspaper lurid means causing shock that makes him out a hero but this agreeable prospect of serving time seems remote as long as he can gloat over his his likeness sharing space with the pictures of short short figures movies and tv stars and politicians gloat means to show happiness in a bad way he can gloat over his likeness you know if you tell me how if you tell me how you get your feelings of importance i'll tell you what you are that determines your character that is most significant thing about you for example dr a b c got his feelings of importance by giving money to to erect a modern hospital in in you know in one of the famous cities to care for millions of poor poor people whom he who he had never seen and never would be and would never see dillinger on the other hand got his feelings of importance of being bandit a bank robber a killer when the bi agents were hunting him he dashed into a farm house and said i'm a dillinger he was proud of the fact that he was a public enemy number 1 i'm not going to hurt you but dillinger he said yes one significant difference between dillinger and abc is how they got their feelings of importance history sparkles with amusing examples of famous people struggling for a feeling of importance even george washington wanted to be called his highness his mightiness the president of united states and the columbus pleaded for the title admiral of the ocean and the viceroy of india catherine the great refused to open letters that were not addressed to him that were not addressed to her imperial majesty and mr lincoln in the white house turned upon mr grant like a, like a tigress and shouted how dare you be seated in my in my presence until i invite you our millionaires help finance admiral brad expedition to antarctic in 1928 with understanding that ranges of icy mountains would be named after them and victor hugo aspired to have nothing less than 
the city of Paris renamed in his honor. Even Shakespeare, the mightiest of the mighty, tried to add luster to his name by, by procuring a coat of arms for his family. Luster means an exciting quality. People sometimes became invalids in order to win sympathy and attention. Invalids means one who needs to be cared for and get a feeling of importance. For example, take Mrs. McKinley. She got a feeling of importance by, by forcing her husband, the, the President of the United States, to neglect important affairs of the state. And he reclined on the bed, and he reclined on the bed beside her for hours at a time. His arms about her, sweeping her to sleep, she fed her, denying desire for attention by insisting that he remain with her while she was having her teeth fixed, and once created a stormy scene when he had to leave her alone with the dentist while. He kept an important appointment with John Hay, his secretary. So, list is long. Some authorities declare that people may actually go insane in order to find in the dreamland of insanity the feeling of importance that has been denied them in the houseboat of the reality. There are, there, you know, there are more patients suffering from mental diseases in, in USA than from other, or other diseases combined. What is the cause of insanity? Nobody can answer such such a such a sweeping question, but we know that certain diseases such as syphilis break down and destroy the brain cells and result in insanity. In fact, about one half of all mental diseases can be attributed to such phys such physical causes as brain lesions, alcohol toxins, and injuries. But on the other, on, but on the other half, there is a piling part of the story. On the other half of the people who go insane apparently go apparently have nothing organically wrong with their brain cells. In post mortem examinations. When their brain tissues are studied under the highest powered microscope, these tissues are found to be apparently just as healthy as yours and mine. Why do these people go insane? I put this question to head physician, one of our most important psychiatrist hospitals. This doctor, who has received the highest honor and most coveted awards of his knowledge, knowledge awards for his knowledge. The subject told me frankly that he didn't know why people weren't in soon. Nobody, nobody knows for sure. But he did say that many people go insane, find insanity, a feeling of importance that they were unable to achieve. In the world of reality, when he told me this story, I have a patient right now whose marriage proved to be a tragedy. She wanted love, sexual gratification, children special plastic and all this but he couldn't get she couldn't get out she got insane she became insane so in this spot in this very important podcast uh, author has emphasized on the feeling of importance how people crave for being important how people crave for getting respect how people crave for being called an important person. How people crave for being on the top of hierarchy. But in this world of reality, it is not possible for everyone to get there. So people get insane. They lose the balance of their mind. This is what author has tried to emphasize. Of course, you should crave for being an important person. But equally important is the fact that you should try hard to get there. Only desire not enough. So please press the bell icon and subscribe my YouTube.